Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am going to be decluttering my brown lip products today. These are all, you know, lipsticks and lip liners and liquid lipsticks and stains and everything. So if you are interested in any of my other declutters, I have a whole series here on my channel. This is just the latest in a whole string of them. But if you are interested in watching any of those previous ones, I will have the link to my declutter playlist down in the description below. So I'm going to be swatching all of these for you guys today, so that way you can see if there's theoretically a shade that you might like and want to go buy, even though I'm not liking it, or even if I do like it and you want to go buy it. Also, it is partially for me so that I am able to see what they look like next to each other so I can decide if there's any that are identical that I don't need two of. I have tried on a bunch of these in preparation for this video so that I know what looks good on me and what doesn't. So a couple I know ahead of time that I'm getting rid of, but we will have to, you know, go through all these together to see for sure. So I'm gonna start with a couple of really old ones that I know I'm getting rid of. This first one is by CoverGirl. It is the Outlast Lip Stain in... 445. I thought it had a name like cinnamon or something. I don't even know if they sell these anymore. <laughs> it's really old. It still has, you know, like product left in there, but there's no way that this is good anymore. So I'm going to toss that one. Same with this guy. This is from the brand Boutique Lip. It's a lip crayon. This one is in Frosted Caramel or Caramel. I got these at Sally's Beauty and I have three of them. Not three in Frosted Caramel, just three of these lip crayons. Again, back before I really started <laughs> using makeup. And it was when I went through a phase when I thought browns and like nudes looked really good on me. And they don't look bad, but like this shade <laughs> is not really pretty. <laughs> so I'm going to get rid of it. I'm probably, again, going to throw it away, especially since this one doesn't have a lid. I don't know where it's at. This one is in copper. I don't know what made me get these kind of like metallic -y shades. This was five plus years ago. Metallic shades definitely were not in. Also, cinnamon. I think this one's matte. Yeah. This one isn't bad, but like I said, it's just really old. So time for it to go. Here's one that I know I am keeping for sure. This one is by Ofra. It is the Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick in Americano. I love the Ofra formula of liquid lipsticks. They're really nice. They're similar to the Bare Minerals Gen Nude liquid lipsticks. They're just kind of a moussey texture. They don't dry down, you know, like fully, fully, you know, matte and staying on your lips. They do last a long time, but they don't like dry out so also by Ofra also when I'm keeping this is Miami Fever it was the Kathleen Lights collaboration I don't know if it's still available I think it is um I can't remember if I bought it I think I bought it on Hot Look actually and oh it's so pretty it has kind of like a terracotta brownness to it <laughs> It's so pretty. It has like a little bit of an orange, very warm. I'm kind of surprised I like it on me, but I really do. Also gonna keep this one. This is ColourPop Lippy Sticks in Tootsie. It is a matte. This one is more of like a grayish. Definitely has a lot of that, you know, grayness to it. And it's kind of a little bit mauve actually. I don't know why it's in my browns. I guess it is a little bit brown. But I feel like it's more mauve. Anyways, I'm going to keep it because I really like it. This one I'm going to get rid of. The shade just isn't very nice on me. It's Estee Lauder Sugar Honey. Just frosty. It, it's not um, flattering on me. And it's really light. This one I like. This is Makeup Forever uh, Rouge Artist Natural TG N9, I think is the shade. They don't... <laughs> have very good shade names. This is one that's I don't reach for super often though. It's kind of like that pinky ready brown. Um, so if I don't reach for it, you know, a lot soon here, I'm probably gonna pass this one along, but it's not bad. This is a ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip. It's a mini in the shade Tool. I like this one. This one is very kind of ready brown. And then we'll do the other ColourPop one. This one is in Frickin' Frack and I actually have it on my lips right now. <laughs> you can't see that, but I do. I tried it on to make sure I liked it before I did this video, and I do. I don't know what was up with that applicator, though. Did you see it? It's, like, super 
like small and like fuzzy. Not all the ColourPop applicators are like that, so I don't know what's up with this one. Okay, then I have a lip liner by Lord and Barry. Did did this start as a mini or did I just sharpen it a lot? It says nude lip liner. I think that's the shade. Oh gosh, it needs to be sharpened. Well, I know I'm not gonna keep it. It's very brown. It just doesn't look very good on me. Very chocolatey. Um, so I'm gonna pass it on, but yeah, it needs to be sharpened. It's completely broken. Another lip liner. This one is by H&M. It is Chalk Therapy is the shade. I have a full review of these H&M uh, products. The lip liners were probably one of the best things. I didn't, I was not impressed with their makeup in general, but these lip liners are okay. They're actually really pretty creamy. That one works. That one's kind of like a light nude brown. And then this one is Bella Pierre Cosmetics. It's a gel lip liner in the shade Cinnamon. So many brown products are called Cinnamon. I don't know why. This one, it's okay. I think I like that H&M one better and they're pretty much the exact same shade, so I'll pass that one too. And then finally, I have the Bite Multi-Stick in Cocoa. I have a review on these as well. These you're supposed to use as like an eyeshadow, a lipstick, a blush. Just use them different ways. I don't like the formula for an eyeshadow or a blush, and I don't like that color on me. It's just, it's too brown. I need my brown to have like a hint of red or a hint of orange or a hint of pink. And this one is just like straight up dirt brown and just it doesn't look good on me and it's really dark so that one is gonna get passed along too let me show you really quickly what i'm keeping and what i'm getting rid of so i didn't have a ton to start out with but i'm getting rid of eight and only keeping seven so i got rid of over half woohoo it's like almost exactly half so i hope you guys enjoyed my brown lipstick to clutter again i will have everything else linked down in the description below in case you want to watch anything and until next time i will see you all very soon bye